Hi, this is Trina Kavner Thomas, and welcome to the Self Love Greenlight. And I'm here today with Jane Scanlon. We've known each other for quite some time now, and it's just really nice to just have, like, you know, just to bring her in here and have a chat with her about what she does, but also equally in terms of the energy. Now, Jane has worked in the health and wellness industry for 15 years or more, actually. And um, she runs obviously face to face and online memberships. But I have to say, has just such an incredible energy in terms of what she does, the way she goes about her life, the incredible mindful meanders that she does. And I know that she loves simplicity. But I also know that she is incredible at bringing people together in groups and also creating like a vibe within her community as well. Am I right? I know I'm right. Hey! I'm so... <laughs> but, but I have to say, like, uh, I know, I mean, like, obviously, every podcast that I'm listening to, I just, you know, I'm just like soaking it in because it honestly, I feel like a kid in a sweet shop every time I speak to someone, even like, you know, going to be going into diving into what you do and speaking to you. Because obviously, you know, you're a coach, you're a holistic therapist, and you look at really connecting with the soul to reduce pain, anxiety, and stress as well within, you know, within the people that you work with. I want to start off, just tell me a bit more about the people that you work with. So, um, well, I've got two businesses, so we'll, they're, they're quite similar people, though. So yeah. with the Harvey Business Academy, I work with other wellness business owners um, to help them re redesign sometimes, spiritually design and connect to their business um, and help them with their marketing. So it's about them and their you know, cutting the worries of, you know, oh, I've got to post every day or I've got to post six times a day. I remember someone told me I nearly had a heart attack. So um, <laughs> I kind of cut through that and make, we make a business for them. We make the marketing for them and their clients. And it's not about what I do in my business. We just get a blueprint for them. So that's what I do with the Harmony Business Academy. And it's and it's people like you and myself, other wellness business owners. So it's fabulous. It's really nice people think, to work with. <laughs> I think that's brilliant about, you know, about how um, how you work it for them. And that it's, you know, it's the marketing that they want rather than the marketing that, you know, they feel they should have type yes. thing. Um, and I think that that is a beautiful, you know, it's like a really nice concept it is. So tell me about your other business. Mm, so the other business is, <coughs> sorry, Cherish Transform <laughs> Upgrade. And this is my holistic therapies business. So I coach wellness businesses, but I equally, I have my own and it's running. Once upon a time, I did give it back. I did stop it even to like solely be an online coach yeah. um and i can tell you my business the online coaching declined month after month after month because i i personally need that face-to-face -face connection i personally need to use my healing skills whether that's massage eft homeopathy um and as soon as i started my restarted the um holistic therapies business my coaching business went up <laughs> so yeah and i work with people and i help them out of pain whether that's um mental emotional physical pain stress anxiety um trauma that's what i love to to deal with because we don't we don't need to be in pain Agreed. And, uh, you know, like, it's so true because we don't need to be in pain at all. Um, and I feel like there is a lot more, you know, a lot more messages like this that are, like, literally turning up right now. 
they're like just coming out of um they're coming out of nowhere and pain can be very different for different people as well because i i mean as you mentioned you're not just on about physical pain you're on about emotional mm -hmm. Yeah, mental, mental pain. pain. Yeah, spiritual pain as well. Yes. Well. Yeah. So there's there's lots of different types of pains. Tell me about some of the, you know, like some of the problems people come and see you with. Um. So we have a range a range of problems from more the physical. Oh, I've got a bad back. Yeah. Um. Sometimes it is due to you know, just the environment and the work that they do. A lot of the time there is emotional attachment there as well. Um, back is about support, uh, also financial worries. Um, so I do look at that as well. Most of the people that come to me initially come for a physical pain. And then once they connect with me and they hear about all the other types of therapies and healings that I do, um, they're very open to try other things like um, hands-on healing or emotional freedom technique and homeopathy. That's, a, that's incredible. So you were mentioning that you know you needed to like kind of start working your magic i'm gonna call it magic because yes yeah. um you know on a you know in front of people on a one-to-one -one basis but with just to be in the room with them um mm -hmm. and i do feel like there is a there's a massive pull for many people to go that way as well uh, myself included so there is something very special i mean like don't get me wrong i'm sure you get an incredible an incredible um result you know even working online with people but there is something quite special when you're actually in the room with them right tell me share that share that bit because even even i know what that feels like and it's quite exciting um yeah i do I do love being in a physical space with other clients and I've just restarted doing um, events and workshops. So I did one in uh, December 2022 and then another in January 2023 and I've got more planned. It, well, I was going to just do them one a quarter and now I'm thinking, ooh, <laughs> every other month or something um i've also got my meditation sessions which is like a hybrid of an online and in-person monthly event and that's one evening a week um and then i've got my my one-to-one -one spaces and of course my mindful meanders which are the walking and the community group um so in all of these different spaces our, our physical spaces I've created, um, I'm able to physically feel people's energy. And although I can do that online, it's much quicker um, for me when people are were right with me. Also, I can place my hands directly on them. Yes, I can send energy via online, but... Um, there's something about that physical connection with another being um, which is just magical. It, it is. Um, so I can perform hands-on healing. Um, you know, we, we stand around in a circle with certain events and we're giving energy to each other and we're bringing it into the circle. And again, if this is one of my hybrid events, I do have the laptop there in the circle yeah. as like at another seat so we, we literally we are we are in a circle with our online people as well um but i just love the way it flows and with my one-to-one -one clients um i always say listen don't let's have no ex expectations about what we are going to what treatments we're going to do 
um, they arrive, we have a chat, and then we flow into whatever the treatments are going to be. And it's often blended. So it might be massage, healing, um, visualization and meditation in an hour session or 30 minutes sometimes. It's like, yeah, of course we can do that. (laughs) I love how, you know, you're talking about this, but I can also see how this kind of flows into um into the marketing side of stuff that you do as well i can see how it kind of like really blends in there's almost like an element of uh, knowing trust a deep sense of trust and a deep sense of like intuition in in like kind of it's you know like you go into those one-to-one sessions and you don't need to know I think sometimes we live in a day and age, I don't know whether you agree with me, we have to know. Even yeah. sometimes I can sink into that moment where I go, I have to know, I have I have to know. But sometimes we don't have to know. A lot of this work is very, very bespoke that you're talking about right now. Uh-huh. And and I know a lot of people like structure, you know, where's the structure? Where's the Where's the... A to Z plan, but sometimes if you give someone a structure, you are not going to extract the beauty, right? Yeah, sometimes that can distract, can't it? Yeah. Away from what maybe the underlying condition is or what the underlying emotional issue is. Um But the other thing that I think is interesting, and I think you'll agree, is that when I I, when I would do these events and these one to ones using my um, instinct, there was a little uh, inner critic chatting to say well you haven't really organized this you haven't really planned this you sure you know what you're doing um are you really charging this much uh you haven't even planned it and i'd be like no this is gonna go with the flow i'm just gonna do it this way because it feels like the right thing to do and it always turns out perfectly yeah, and I think the way you know that as well is like, and I, you know, I I do stalk you a little bit as well, but um, uh, the way you know that is is you're not only your clients rave about you, obviously, but also you're really you can really tell in what you do, in the way you do it, that it is the right thing to do. Thank you know you. it. It's. Yeah, you can really tell anyway, even just by speaking to you right now. Mm. You just, you know, deep down, it's it's almost like you're just led by whatever's going on in the room at that time, I take it. Yes, and the same with channeling. When I channel, I do normally voice record it because I can talk about it directly afterwards but you asked me in 10 minutes time and I really won't know what I've said. I don't know what I've told you. Um, <laughs> it's like, it's coming, it's like, oh, because it's not me, it's, it's, it just moves through. It's that it's it's like gone. And you're like going, oh. <laughs> I exactly. Really don't know what I've said. <laughs> yeah, just that, just that. Um, So I I get my, if ever I do card readings or anything like that, crystal readings for my clients, um, I always voice record it or I get them to voice record it. So then they can replay it and stuff like that. But I mean, it's real living in the moment stuff, isn't it? It is. It is. And I I sometimes feel like you're not expected to. I, I do feel like we do remember it, but it's like, it's probably, you know, embedded instead rather than something that we can actually just go, oh, you know, I'll extract that, you know, I'll extract that piece of information because it's, you'd have to go on a little scavenger hunt 
to even yes. find it, or even to know where it is. It's almost like a needle in a haystack, trying to, <laughs> trying to look at this body. <laughs> needle in a haystack. And then, um, yeah, uh, I suppose you could waste your energy trying to find the needle in the haystack. So you're having to like um, let go. Yes. Because I think a lot of the the work, and forgive me if I'm wrong, I take it a lot of the work is about letting go, right? Yes. Yeah, it is. A lot of it is about letting go and calling in, intentionally calling in what you require in life, what you want in life what you desire in life um and it's been a journey for me uh but it's been a proven journey you know the things that I have learned through the spiritual um, wellness industry um it started off quite practical because I was really my first business although there was massage included it was multi-level marketing yeah. so i had a lot of uh, the motivational books the kind of multi-level marketing books business books so it was very practical and i i do say to clients you know i'm 50 50 if if you want full-on spiritual i will go in that field with you chanting and wearing skirts and flowers in my hair and all the rest of it if you need me to be really practical I can also do that and just be put my lot get into my logical head I like got different brains in there I think it's the neurodiverse <laughs> kind of part of me like oh yeah where, where do you want me to be okay dum, I can be there because I was computer engineer as well at one point in my life so I have that logical ordered self um and I have no idea where I was even going with that but there you go Keep going with it. <laughs> <laughs> but that I tell you what that is the beauty of the brain because I, I kind of personally feel and you know I feel like me and you are like literally on the same wavelength um there is so much to learn from how the brain works and obviously as science delves into consciousness and how consciousness works, there is so much I feel like we'll never discover about the brain either. And I do feel like that is that is a massive important thing that we need to learn as humans, that we may <laughs> never know what's going on in this thing. <laughs> even yeah, even yeah. if, you know, no matter how many times like people take it apart and dissect it and stuff, there's still gonna be aspects of it that we'll we will never know, but it is incredible to even find out. And you mentioned something really interesting was that both sides, this has come up in each and every podcast, actually. It's really mm. funny. Both sides of the coin, you know, like science and spirituality, masculine and feminine, assertive, you know, and, and more you know, well, extrovert and more insular, mm -hmm. almost like, you know, at taking action and being very straight down the line and then, you know, going with the flow of things, the ebbs and flows yes. of life. Do you kind of like follow something like that, you know, for any, for the audience that are listening? Yes. And I think I naturally do it. Mm -hmm. Um. But there have been times in my life where I've swayed one way or the other. So very much the start of my businesses, like back in 2010 was when I first started, um, I was very much in the masculine energy. So it was do, but also I was very much in perfection paralysis as well. Okay. Um, so I would start doing, it wouldn't be good enough, I'd stop doing. So I didn't really get anywhere fast. Um, and then I think really it was when my daughter came along um, and started to soften me, you know, 
started to bring out that feminine energy in a big, big way. Um, and eventually I realised that I could bring that into my business as well. It didn't just have to be in the mum zone. It could yeah. be in all of the zones. Um, so, yeah, I do. And I find now that sometimes I can be a bit more in that go with the flow zone. Mm -hmm. But I know um, that there are certain things I need to do in my business on a monthly basis. And I'm just looking at the date thinking it's the 7th. Like as we record this, I know I, I need to do something today because in certain local business groups um, or Facebook groups, uh, this is a day of advertising and stuff like that. And, and then they shut it down for the rest of the month. So I'm like, ah, oh, <coughs> I've advertised once in the first seven days of the month. I've got to do it again. Um, so there are different do's that I've got yeah. to do and I do put them in my diary now and I am trying my hardest to get up either on a Sunday morning or a Monday morning at like 6 a.m and then just pre-do all my posts because I just don't remember to do it every day even though I'm on social media every day I just <laughs> not in my head <laughs> but, but i also the the thing is i love this level of honesty because it it goes to show that you are still running a business but you are accepting of you know of the way you run it and accepting of the fact that you may you know you may not always remember stuff but you may remember some things and but you still continue, you know, you still continue this. Um, it feels consistent and congruent as well. And that it fits with your life. Yeah. Yeah. And I also get that. I, I'm just guessing here that you probably spend quite some time away from social media as well. Oh, well, I'm a little bit naughty, Trina. I'm not as good as you when it comes to the social media. <laughs> I yeah, but, yeah, but you're probably bit, you were probably better than what you think you are. Yeah, in, ter in terms of yeah, in terms of the fact that you probably like go right. Okay, I'm going for a mindful meander now, and and I need to leave, so I need to right. Okay, put that down and go. And yes, oh yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And so, I don't when I'm out and about, and when I'm with other people. Yeah, going on my phone and social media doesn't even enter my head. It's generally when I'm at home and I don't know, I might just sit down for a minute and all of a sudden my phone is in my hand and I'm scrolling <laughs> or I'm looking at videos and like 20 minutes, 30 minutes have gone past. I'm like, oh my God, get off the phone, go do something. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? I, I reckon like we just don't need to be at home. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, I, I still get sucked in you know and it's and it's just i don't know it's just like being very aware and then having to like kind of move uh, i don't know about you but do you like kind of go you you like doing other stuff and then all of a sudden you do have your phone in your hand yeah and, then and it's to totally un it's almost unconscious isn't it <laughs> and then when i consciously wake up into this planet again and i'm there looking on social media and i almost throw my phone down <laughs> get out of my hand <laughs> you know sometimes i don't <laughs> for anyone who's you know listening to this because obviously it's a podcast uh, but obviously we'll we'll post a video as well but you know sometimes you do have to like fling your phone or or i don't know I kind of look at it and then move very slowly like almost in <laughs> slow motion because I know it ain't gonna go down. So I'm like kind of don't slowly. look at it. don't look at the phone. Don't look at the phone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and for the purposes of anyone who's listening, right, I'm just kind of moving very slowly, pretending with no phone in my hand, but yeah. pretending to like like it's almost like tearing 
tearing it away, tearing no. it away from my hand to move on. Because, you know, no matter how much we do in business and stuff, I still feel like sometimes we still have these um, connections, don't we? We still have, you know, we're freaking human. We're not, yeah. you know, I think like, and you, you said this, perfection paralysis. We're human. We're not perfect in the sense of, oh, I suppose spirit would see us as perfect, but, you yeah. know, in the, in the sense of like everyday life, you know, if we, if, if, if we were perfect, yeah, I don't know. I think life would be very boring. Yeah. <laughs> life can get a bit messy sometimes. And yeah, you don't always. I mean, I just live by the rule of seven out of ten. So oh, ten. you do too. Yes. Yeah. Same. Same, you know. Yeah, if you try and live one out of ten, you don't get anywhere. You're not going to fail, are you? And we know that by failing, you end up succeeding. Abs you know what? Absolutely. Um, yeah, absolutely. It's it's very... It, I mean, I know what it's like to feed into that perfectionist side. And I also know it can have its advantages sometimes as well. Yeah, it, yeah. Can appease, it can appease a part of me. You know, but then also as well, it can also very much stagnate, mm. you know, and it can keep us, you know, where we are, which you, which you've mentioned a few times. And, and that's what I'm guessing where the clients are coming from for you. They're stagnated. They're where they are type thing. Yeah. They're feeling stuck. Whether in either business, to be honest, they're feeling stuck and they, they want shifts, they want transformation, uh, whether it's in their business, their body or their mind, you know, or generally every, everywhere. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, I mean, like, because, I mean, as you know, and as I know, sometimes that can be really difficult to move through that, isn't it? To, mm -hmm. to like, kind of change that, because sometimes it can be, um belief you know belief um behavior keeps coming up as well behavior traits yeah of letting go of the old and welcoming in the new because sometimes not many of us want to welcome in the new it's scary <laughs> isn't it? change is is scary yeah it reminds me of that david bowie song changes <laughs> you know what um hopefully that uh no um what's the word as soon as she starts singing a copyright song, right? oh no <laughs> yeah. will our voices sound like bowie's <laughs> change i'd like to change our voices up a little bit and i might even have to put a link to the song on on there as well just to give <laughs> give credit <laughs> copyright gods yeah 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 absolutely absolutely oh my god <laughs> i tell you what um it's almost like sometimes you 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 kind of like move through life and it is very difficult to say all the things that you actually want to say without yeah. having to put like disclaimers or like copyrights on everything we we know this very well because we have a, a i was just, we have had certain chats about certain things going on yes anyway. oh yes um, I reckon, I reckon, I know we're running out of time now, but I reckon I'm going to have to invite you back for another podcast because I do feel like it would be really nice to actually talk about the world at large and then yes. we'll just put lots of disclaimers over everything. Everything. Trigger warning, trigger warning. Trigger warning. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully by then I will know the tech so I yes. can like just have it kind of trigger, 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 just flashing <laughs> <laughs> yes. we don't I'm, have I'm, to believe the same as you we are not <laughs> brainwashing you yeah no oh my god <laughs> you know <laughs> but um it has been an absolute joy to speak to you today it always is to be honest um yeah it's always a pleasure to chat with you and to to even just know you know the depths of your business and you can really see why you do it mm. you can really you know even just by talking to you right now you can really oh, hear oh, thank you. you know the inspiration 
you know, behind why you do it. And and obviously we will delve into that more when we chat again. So I'm gonna I'm definitely having you back on. Oh, that'd be fabulous. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Yeah, exactly. And can I can I say if um for those watching, obviously the website is just screening across the bottom if you did want a discovery call about your business um or if you're listening it's janescanlon.com slash illuminate hyphen discovery hyphen call and it's <laughs> a channeled discovery call so i will talk to spirit and see how we can co-create to help your business grow that is incredible honestly you know if you're listening to this just get a call with her because it'd be really worthwhile yeah. <laughs> thank you yeah, that's, absolutely um what i'll do is i'll also make sure that the links are also in the description as well for when um and i'm pointing yeah. upwards or downwards wherever the description goes um for anyone who's listening obviously it'll be in the description um but yeah thank you so much for coming on it has been an absolute pleasure Thank you so much for inviting me. It's been wonderful to talk to you again. And um, I definitely look forward to coming on and maybe we'll have a few of us to do a discussion about the world. I think that's a great the world one. Right. <laughs> the world to rights. That's what the title will be. Putting the world to rights. Yes. Um, yeah. yeah. Because I do feel like it is It is a need of conversation, um, definitely, about the world and stuff and the world at large. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, I'll leave it there for today. Have an amazing day. Thank you, everyone who's listening, tuning in. Honestly, um, I'm so grateful just to even, even I've had to move out of perfection paralysis just to even bring this to life. So, um, so you know, I know it will reach the right people and that's what it's all about. So, yeah, thank you for listening. <laughs>